In 1879, British archaeologist Wayneman Dixon successfully retrieved a number of mysterious artifacts from within the infamous lower northern shaft of the Great Pyramid of Khufu. One of these artifacts was a small piece of a square wooden rod which has since disappeared, the only artifact to conveniently go missing and the only artifact which could have produced an accurate dating for what seems was a rather elaborate prior attempt to overcome a sophisticated array of blocking stones and vertical passageways which confront all who try to breach the innermost sanctums of this mysterious pyramid. The reason for this past mission, or indeed who undertook such an attempt, remain a mystery, but their motive will soon become clear. One of Wayneman's other finds, resembling a small grappling hook with two rivets, matches two holes in a square rod still lodged up in the vertical northern shaft, clearly left by these wannabe tomb raiders. It seems that these highly talented, acrobatic grave robbers couldn't make it any further, and once one becomes aware of the existence of a large hidden chamber built into the pyramid's design, placed just above this unexplored shaft, you will inevitably begin to wonder what could possibly be hiding up there. Indeed, it's a well-known fact that the builders of these structures were notorious for their superhuman efforts in concealment. Huge multi-ton blocking stones in front of the entrances to their kings and treasures, and indeed in front of virtually every interior shaft and room within the Great Pyramid of Khufu. The upper region of this northern shaft constitutes the last remaining unexplored areas due to the impossible access angle. We know it's there, and all we have to do is apply existing technology in getting in there, Rudolf Gattenbrink told the press. It must be noted, although the mention of tombs has been made, the evidence to suggest such is based solely upon a number of parchments and a single mark found within an interior chamber of the pyramid naming a gang and the 4th dynasty Egyptian pharaoh Khufu. Egyptologists have taken these fragmentary factors and concluded that all pyramids were therefore built as tombs, the Great One being built over a 10 to 20 year period, concluding around 2560 BC. It seems the entire thesis of ancient Egyptian legacy is built around a few mentions of the pyramids as tombs. No mummies or burial artifacts except a tiny box claimed to be that of the sarcophagus of Khufu has ever been found in the pyramids. Additionally, and perhaps more importantly, Khufu's Egyptian civilization, along with all subsequent and prior dynasties, catalogued tremendous details regarding their existence, yet all, for some reason, seemingly forget to mention the construction of the biggest, most mysterious structures on Earth or indeed how they did it. What could there possibly be hidden within this chamber? This unexplored and clearly sought after secret room, a room which is seemingly unrobbable. With mainstream Egyptologists, archeologists and academic historians alike insisting that these amazing pyramids were once unquestionably tombs which were robbed completely over the millennia. Whatever this room contains, may settle this once and for all.